Good to go, Xavier? Yeah. All right, cool, man. All right, fighthype.com. Happy to be joined with super featherweight contender, my man, undefeated Xavier Martinez. Really good step-up fight taking on ropes in Conceição in uh, Oklahoma next Saturday uh, on ESPN+. Plus, man, um, mm. Xavier, man, just – we today we just found out Shakur Stevenson, Oscar Valdez. That's to find out who's the best fighter in this division. And we saw Robes and Conceição push Oscar Valdez to the limit. So with you getting in the ring with him now, do you feel mm. like the whole boxing world, we're going to know exactly what Xavier Martinez has because of this fight? Yeah, I think, you know, this fight will finally, you know, put me on the map. Uh, I felt like, you know, not, not a lot of people know about me. I feel like I kind of just been, you know, in the back door, you know, in the back door. So I feel like this fight, you know, this will really put me on the map. Now, you know, this is your first fight with top rank, but I, I knew about you scoring knockouts here in Las Vegas at the local mm-hmm. fight nights. Um, those fights were under Floyd Mayweather. How much did training in Floyd Mayweather's gym, maybe even getting some words with him and sparring the fighters there, how much did it help you heading into this point in your, in your career? Um, it helps a lot. You know, it's like obviously a di- different atmosphere over there. You know, they, talk, they call it the doghouse for a reason. Um, and, you know, just getting some words of wisdom from Floyd, you know, all that, you know, plays a major role in helping me level up. And then, you know, when I sparked Tank, um, that was a major, you know, that was a blessing to get work with him. Uh, that showed me a lot, too. When, when was that sparring? And, and what do you remember from the sparring? Um, we sparred uh, last year, I believe, in August. Uh, he was getting ready for uh, maybe Leo, I think it was. And um, it, was a, it was great work. I learned, you know, different things. He gave me a, a few pointers, and uh, shoot, I just remember, you know, it was more—it was a chess match. That's what I remember. I just gotta ask: Does he punch as hard as everybody says he punches? Oh yeah, yeah, he punched. But I was making sure he won. <laughs> as soon as he tried to unload, I heard, I heard him got up out the way. Well, you were able to to hold your own, is that right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I do gotta ask: What's what's one of the things? Floyd Mayweather did tell you that you could share with us that you, you you're comfortable telling us. Um, you know, you just gotta, you know, one thing I always say, you know, just time, you know, don't, don't rush the process, you know, cause sometimes when you rush the process, you, and, you know, you trip and fall. You're a 12 round fighter. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you know, one thing about you X, when I watch a uh, very steady fighter, not a lot of wasted energy and wasted movement. Why mm-hmm. is that? Um, I don't know. I like to, you know, calculate everything. You know, I like to be precise and do everything. And I like to have meaning behind things that I do. I just like to do it just to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because then I just feel like, you know, throwing out energy that you don't really need to be throwing out. Do you think you ever catch your opponents or people you fought off guard with the some of some of your style? Some of how you fight? They see this kid, Xavier Martinez from North Cali, Mexican-American kid. He probably going to come after me and Mm. Just try, try to kill me, go to the body, but you're an intelligent fighter. Do you think mm. these guys are surprised by that a little um, bit? Maybe. You know, some people are, some people aren't. You know, obviously, I think the veterans, may, maybe, and then some aren't because, you know, they've been doing it for so long. They're like, oh, we didn't see this before. So, but I think, you know, most of the time, yeah. What do you think of Conceição's fight with Valdez? Did you think he won that fight? Um, I mean, to me, I thought I could have gone either way. I think Valdez had the more um, meaningful, like, I'm trying to hurt you punches. And then towards the end, Kosciuszko kind of had the, you know, get away from me type punches. And um, I feel like, you know, if he wanted to win that belt, he should have been, you know, person Valdez harder, you know, because in order to be the champion, you got to take it from him. And I kind of feel like, you know, he wasn't – towards the end of the rounds, he wasn't trying to take it. He was just trying to, you know, get his points. <sighs> you feel like that's something you take advantage of next Saturday? Um, yeah. I, I mean, I see flaws. I see uh, certain flaws in him. And, uh, you know, my the goal is to take advantage of him. Yeah. It, you think it's possible that it's the second half of the fight that wins you that fight? Because in the first half, he, he was very strong against Valdez. Mm-hmm. Very fresh. Yeah, yeah. You know, but the main thing is, he's going starting, starting quick. I know. And he started quick last time, too. Mm-hmm. But um, you're you're a good body puncher, but... You switch it up, man. One round, I'll see you fighting backwards, and then the next round, forward. Do you – you how – how which style do you think you're going to have to bring out more in this fight? Um, Whatever style, you know, I need to adjust with. You know, if I got a box, you know, I'll have to box. If I have to move forward, then I'll move forward. 
Um, you know, I like to make adjustments in there. You know, everybody's, you know, asked a game plan and this and that. To be honest, you don't really know what game game plan you're going to have to do until you get in there. That's why in the gym, you try to come up with different scenarios. That's why you have different sparring partners to figure out, you know, if it does switch up, you know, you'll, you'll be ready for it. Do you see yourself beating this Conceição in more convincing fashion than Valdez did? Oh, yeah. Very, very convincingly. I'm I'm ready for this fight. I'm excited. You know, this is a big opportunity. And I can't and I can't let it slip up. Why? Why is that? Why do you think you'll be able to to make it more decisive than even a, a great fighter like Valdez was able to? Um, I just you know I feel like he had his opportunity. You know, he had his chance. He, he didn't get it, so now it's my opportunity to go and get it. How, just move into that fight real quick, Stevenson and Valdez. Do you feel mm-hmm. like winning this fight? It, it really sets you up to get in that mix, to fight the champions of the division. I think so. You know, um, if, if, they're, uh, if they want me to go a different route, then I guess. But I want to be in there with the champions. You know, this, this sport's about fighting the best to be a world champion. If I'm able to get in that area, then, you know, please put me in there and I'll be ready to go. Who do you think wins that fight? I got Shakur. And he uh, convincingly. That's what I'm hearing from a lot of people. Why is that? Mm-hmm. Oh, Valdez is no slouch. So, so why Shakur? No, no questions asked. I know he's no. I know he's no slouch. But mm-hmm. you know, I see. You know, Valdez. I feel like Valdez won't do good against someone that you know steady pace all boxes and uses a jab pretty good, especially Shakur. And Shakur, he's pretty nice with his punches. You see, Shakur is the toughest fight out there for any one thirty pounder like yourself. I think so. Why Why do you think – or do you, you don't think – do you not think that Valdez will be able to get in close and make it – you know, get some exchanges, get some work off inside? Do you think he just won't be able to do that? Like Shakur will neutralize him? Or, yeah. I think that's what it is. Because okay. to me, I feel like Valdez doesn't throw enough straight punches. He throws a lot of hooks. And, you know, Shakur, you're going to see that coming real, real easy. You, you like to throw some hooks too, though, right? Yeah, but, you know, you got to set those up. <laughs> All right, man. Um, I don't got too much more for you, man. I just I know this is a huge opportunity for you, bro. Um, it, it, you know, you get it. Like I said, you, you get a chance to measure up against the best of the best in the division. So is yeah. there anything else uh, you want to say, Xavier, before before we see you fight next Saturday? Just tune in and, you know, get ready to see who Xavier Martinez is. Stoppage? Uh, you know, that would be the goal. But you know, the goal is to win. But, you know, if I get a stoppage, I'll, I'll be even better. All right, man. Good luck to you, man. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Take care. You too.